Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're taking a look at the new F23 mod in DCS, the what if successor to the YF23 Black Widow 2 prototype. I must admit when I was told about this mod yesterday, I thought, oh no, here we go again, another half-baked 5th, 6th gen mod in DCS. How boring. But boy was I wrong, it's actually top-notch, comparable in quality to the newest public F22 mod. In terms of what we're doing today, I figured this is the kind of plane that gets people into the game to begin with, so we best do a comprehensive guide to help newbies get started. We'll cover installation, setting controls, aircraft creation, loadouts, spawn, cockpit, exterior model, startup and general gameplay. Let's start with installation. So we start with this file here, which you download, of course, from the link that I'll put in the video description. We go into it, and you can see the various files here. We're going to not buy it. We're going to click there. In fact, we're just going to put a box over all of it like that. Right click, and we're going to go copy files to clipboard and let it do its thing. Then we're going to find our saved games area when that's finished. So on this screen here, we're going to go to, for me, it's going to be C drive is going to be users and yours will be very similar it's going to be your particular user that's me and then it's going to be in saved games there then it's going to be dcs or dcs open beta for me there then you're going to go into mods and if, if you don't have mods folder create it and spell it like that then you're going to go into aircraft and if you don't have aircraft folder create it and spell it like that then you need to create a folder for the actual aircraft and to be honest you can call it what you want and i'm going to call it f 23a all obvious stuff but people get stuck on this stuff so you go in here and then you go right click and then you go paste and wait a second ta-da installed and start your game up and once you're in you're going to go to cogwheel and then you're going to go to controls and then you're going to select your beloved f23 and here's where you get to see if it's actually worked has it worked there it is f23a you look here for your various categories and let's start simple let's go to axis controls setting up the controls is actually not that simple in this aircraft so i'm going to go through each control just to make sure we get everything right first in terms of basic control you have here the pitch axis note it's f23a pitch axis not pitch down here and that's going to be a running theme today also we have our roll axis here obviously set this to your stick and stuff like this then you have your f23 a wheel brake left and right if you're going to have differential wheel brakes like i do and you're obviously going to set those to your wheel brakes on your pedals speaking of pedals you're going to need your your axis if you have pedals then you're going to set that on your pedals or you're going to set it onto some other type of axis note the nozzle steering is pretty sensitive in this aircraft so i would suggest going to axis tune and whacking up a big positive curve on it to help you not spinning around next i've got thrust you can have thrust left and right i've got a small problem with my thrust lever at the moment so i'm just using one thrust lever and i'm just doing it for both thrusts there and finally zoom view if you're not vr would be a good axis to have Let's start going in the other categories, the kind of binary commands. We've got weapons. We are going to have cannon here, which allows us to select our cannon. Other important ones will be change weapon. will allow us to change between our AMRAM and our Sidewinder. Other stuff here we will not be using, and that's quite important. Next, let's go up to system next. We're going to have flap. We have a landing position here and we have up here, but the aircraft actually has automatic flaps, so you may never touch it. And everything else should be bound as standard note air brake and gear up and down. We will not use from here, we'll use them from a separate category. So let's go to different category. We have sensors next. Sensors will need quite a lot of controls that start up here. Radar will need to be able to turn it on and off. We want to bind these uh, basic controls. Here, repeat frequency. The frequency of our radar that we're going to operate in, whether it's better at picking up closing or passing away targets. Here, whether we want to use our range while search or track while scan basic modes. Here, to zoom in or out the radar display. Radar warning receiver sounds up or down because that can deafen you after a while. Scan zone up, down, left and right. Point our radar up, down, left and right. Target designator up, 
down left and right will move our target designator around the screen or you can have an axis target lock to lock the target from your target designator and unlock twiz target allows us to unlock a single target that we have on our track while scan note if you want a proper description of what these do please go to my f15c playlist go into the radar section and then we'll tell you exactly what each do we're just looking at the controls today next modes just like f15 ones i would suggest on your hotas at a beyond visual range mode for obviously beyond 10 miles within 10 miles you may want a vertical scan mode or you may want a combat bore mode next we'll go to flight control probably all i'm adding here is to make sure that i have my trim up down left and right set on my hotas on my control stick there next is going to be f23 specific stuff that you must have set for everything to work so first f23 weapons first stage trigger will open the gun flap to allow the gun to fire second stage trigger will actually fire the gun i definitely suggest opening the flap first if you want to fire missiles it's weapon release here to use the aim nine sidewinders you also need to manually select and open the bay that the sidewinders are controlled in so that there to select the bay and that there to actually open the bay and we'll show that later on and you can have master arm or you can just press the switch in the cockpit next f23 systems stuff i would definitely have air brake on or off and you must have these ones bound not the ones in the other menu bound same with gear you must have the gear up and down selected in this category the, those are the only ones that will work as well as that it's a really good idea to have engine left and right start so you can see engine left start here engine right start here and that will probably do for there and that may be my lot we've already got countermeasures done autopilot axis and that's our lot viewers so let's go okay to that next we're going to show basic creation of a mission so you can get up and go so create new mission choose a map i'm going to go afghanistan because it's just been added to in the most recent patch and i haven't looked at it yet i believe it's this east section of bases that's just been added so let's go to the capital kabul here and let's add some planes so i'm going to go plane here i'm going to place it on the ground here now strangely i'm not going to add a specter first i'm going to add an f15c so the f23 in dcs relies on you having installed the f15c as well as that before being allowed to get into the f23 you have to get into the f15c first at least once since we've started dcs so we're going to go up here we're going to go f15c we're going to make it client so that we can actually fly it we're going to put it on the ground hot there boom that's our f15 now we can put our wire f23 in so airplane again let's put it i don't know there we're going to make it client we're going to make it find it f23 we're going to put it on the ground hot next let's look at our loadouts Obviously, it was a competitor to the YF-22, and it has the same loadout as the initial YF-22, which is, of course, in the front, in this case, uh, stations or the front bay, AIM-9 or M or AIM-9X sidewinders. It cannot have anything on stations 2 and 9, at least at the moment, and stations 3 to 8, so the six rear bay stations, you can have one missile, which would have been the AIM-120C AMRAM, which would have been period accurate, obviously. So we'll just go with that basic loadout there. You also get a selection of funky liveries that you can use as well, which is nice. Well, we're also going to want to show a cold start of the aircraft, so we're going to select this guy, we're going to copy it with left control c move over here, left control v to copy, and we're going to change it from ground hot to ground and that's it we're going to save it and then we're going to press green to go we're going to be in a multiplayer session here so i'm going to go select roll here first i need to get in an f15 let that load fully it's got to load all the avionics and all the cockpit and now i'm going to escape i'm going to go select roll same coalition and i'm going to get in an f23 there we go and that should load and now we can load into as many f23 f22s as we like until we have to restart the game again which brings us on to our first uh, really impressive features of this mod, which is the cockpit. Super lovely high fidelity cockpit, which is absolutely great. It's great that guys are doing this. And by the way, kudos to the mod makers who've obviously done a top job. So we can go over here. We may as well just buzz around the cockpit. Interior lights, which work. Woohoo! All that cool stuff, just like a high fidelity aircraft. We can have mode, night vision, 
night or day in terms of interior lights. Uh, we've got the stereo lights as well, anti-collision, we've got our position and a rheostat for our formation in terms of our engine, which engine we want to do, and the starter button here, obviously movable throttle quadrant there. Fuel tanks, um, all or exterior isolator, we have an air-to-air -air refueling light, uh, rheostat here, an air-to-air -air refueling door open switch, and it pops out like that, which is kind of cool. Obviously this aircraft would need air-to-air -air refueling, let's turn that off there. We've got flight control system um, with a built-in test, and we have alternative flaps, extend or normal, I'll just leave that in normal for automatic flaps. A hook button, which does not work for whatever reason, we've got a canopy jettison, which does work. We've got uh, landing lights and taxi lights, gear knob here, which doesn't work, you have to press the button to do it, Admiral's doorbell to dump your gear, a well modelled data entry system here, you can click on the buttons but as far as I'm aware it doesn't actually do anything and will probably never do anything but uh, I stand to be corrected, master arm here if you want to shoot someone in the face, we've got three big multifunctional disc screens here which are actually not multifunction they are this one is going to be our radar warning receiver which is going to be the same one as the F-15C this one is going to be our radar, which is going to be the same one as the F-15C, or in our version actually we've modified it with a different radar, but nearly the same. And here is going to be our SMIRS or stores management screen, where we can see our stores, and none of these buttons, I'm aware, will actually do anything on the MFDs. Behind the stick, we have that guy not modelled, and we have that guy not modelled. Up here, we have some information. We have advisories here, but we can turn on and off system time there. We have some warnings, which we can turn on and off and system time there. Up here, radio volumes, unsure whether it works or not, and brightness knob, and the same here, radios 1, 3, 2, and 4. Master modes that we looked at earlier in the controls, you can also change them here. Basic air to air, basic air to ground, <laughs> air to ground in this plane, what? Uh, navigational instrument, and we'll, oh, I don't know, just keep that on, uh, air to air. We've got some cool little UFC panels here with some functionality. We've got fast here, which is basically our engines and our fuel here. Here we have a little MFD, we can have an ADI here, obviously our attitude director indicator with various flight stuff there, radar altimeter, barometric altimeter, we can have a heading which is magnetic or it can be true. We can have our tactical situation here that shows our weapons, our countermeasures, our jammer on or off, which weapon is selected. Uh, we can configure it and our gun as well. Uh, we can configure it if we want by going uh, here and we can cho choose what we want to change, or we can change increase and decrease the number of those and so on, but not sure really why you'd ever want to do it, but it's there, which is kind of funky. The HUD is just the HUD from the F-15C, which is perfectly functional. Down here, battery on and off does work. Braking off, anti-skid or parking brake does work. APU on or off does work. Left and right generators does work. Oxygen, uh, OBOX, onboard oxygen generating system. No idea whether it worked. It works in game or not but best leave it on i would say auxiliary communications lots of knobs to do stuff and control stuff unknown if it works to be honest radio volumes unknown if it works but it's nice twiddly knobs um, environmental control systems and um, change your aircon my feet are uh sweaty let's make them not sweaty and so on um, obviously it doesn't work because it's a game and that's it canopy open canopy closed Hope you'll agree, it's a pretty damn fine um, looking cockpit. In terms of exterior, lovely model, as you can see, probably equal to the Raptor, which is great work. I've done there loads of sexy animations, as you'll see soon. Uh, next, I think we'll do a startup procedure. So let's put ourselves in a cold started aircraft, select roll, and I'm going to go what I believe is a cold started aircraft. All right, so um, first we're going to turn our battery on, make sure we've got our enunciator there, which we have. Next, we need to turn our auxiliary power unit on, which will in turn start the engines. Turn it on, let it process for about five seconds. You can see we've got some basic electric coming through. Next, generator left engine on, generator right engine on. Next, we can start the engines. Now, it said in the little mini manual that you can actually do it from these switches here, but I couldn't get that to work. So what I'm gonna use is the buttons that I showed earlier, if you remember. Left engine start and right engine start in the F23A systems category. So let's go left engine. If it's worked, you can see that the uh, control 
Let's move forward slightly and I can immediately start the right engine. Pop. And we can see the taco here and the fuel flow there. Question for you viewers, um, I haven't researched this plane much, but it has two dimensional beak type nozzles as the Raptor, but as far as I'm aware, this plane never had a vector thrust. So why do they have these models? Uh, nozzles, sorry. I'll be interested to know. Also, what is that there? Why is there a big hole in the top of my aircraft? I'd also be interested in that. Hey, your APU intake. Oh, there you go. So Easily sorted, guys. Yeah, well, in that case, don't forget to turn your freaking APU off. Pop. Uh, what have I forget uh, forgotten? Okay, I've forgotten weapon bay. Let's go and check. You can see I have a forward weapon bay with my sidewinders and an aft weapon bay with my six AMRAMs and I need to close them. Remember, we have that button we saw earlier, so let's press that. And we go. They operate much quicker once we're in the air. Uh, what else have we got? Parking brake. Well, we don't want that. Parking brake can come off or anti-skid. I can find it. There it is, um, master arm on because I'll only just forget and that is me ready to roll. I'm not sure what SIG NAT, anyone know what SIG NAT warning is guys? I haven't seen that one before. No idea. No idea, something, something. Uh, that's it guys, let's go. Wobble forward. Now it's very twitchy because of the way that they had to make the flight model. It's a simple flight model unlike the um, uh, more complex flight model of the F-22 Raptor. It's still perfectly good but one thing you'll notice is that the handling on the ground is very twitchy so you just have to be a little bit careful and as I said I've added a bit of curve whoops I want to put that canopy down added a bit of curve on the your axis so you don't end up just spinning around in circles it's something to bear in mind all right come on guys we're off all right I'm punching it straight up this thing will accelerate like a bat out of hell rotate and we're up make sure you use the special gear command that we looked at earlier <laughs> ah, look at that what an absolute beast look at the maneuverability of it non-vector control but it had so much attitude control by those big old fins at the back I'm not sure it would have ever needed it to be honest absolutely Minimum amazing speed anyway don't want to see that um so basic weapon operation i'm going to go to um an acm mobile site we saw the control for that earlier i'm going to select the gun like that and first stage trigger opens my guy second stage trigger i would suggest not firing the gun without the flap open uh next we're going to do some missiles so we're going to go to ball site again we're going to select our missiles with our weapon selector we saw earlier no we're going to fire an amram first of all in fact in fact we're going to go to beyond visual range mode like that. Uh, we've got our radar which we control just like the F-15C. I've got a big 20 minute tutorial of how to use that if you want to look at the F-15C stuff. Move the cursor around, select the guy, fire the missile. Now we don't need to open our bay manually for one of these. We'll do it itself. Oh, look at all that modelling look. Amazing, right? And then finally a sidewinder, so let's go into an ACM mode change our weapon to a sidewinder now this one you do have to open the bay so make sure the forward bay is selected which you can do to make sure this is green here which it is then you need to press the bay button to manually open the bay opens both bays actually see what happens it moves the missiles out and forward so i would suggest not firing them unless they're outside of the plane now you can fire otherwise you're going to get a very nasty result as a uh, continuous rod warhead slices you in half uh, guys, I think that's it. It has um, air, air refueling, but it's identical to the Raptor and everything else pretty much identical to the F-15C, which we already have videos on. Has anyone got anything to add to that? All right. Um, I guess you can want to see a fight next, viewers, but we'll probably leave that to another video so we don't think it's too long. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will uh, see you guys later. And I've just lost $200 million.